and welcome to the video. It is so strange to sit in front of the camera because I've been so busy with life that I haven't been videotaping and editing and doing all of the things and it's been bumming me out. I like my video journals, if you will, and that's how I'm gonna take on the concept of YouTube from now on. So welcome to this video journal. It is going to be a journey back in time because I am behind on posting all of my footage and it's things that I wanna share and remember. So. I'm gonna let you know now what's in this video so you know if you kind of are interested in this coming um, journal, if you will. It's going to be basically a bunch of date nights that I haven't gotten to share and then a bunch of like parties and birthdays that we went to, costume and fun things that we did in New Orleans, all packed into one video to kind of catch me up somewhat. And then I'll share, before I get out of this clip of me talking to you, I'll kind of let you know some of the videos that I'm gonna post next because I do have a bunch of ideas that I know I gotta do, wanna do, anyway. So, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go back in time. You, if you follow along, you've seen my October date night and or anniversary video. That's the last one I posted, but I haven't shown Augusts or Septembers. And so, with that being said, that's gonna be the first few things that you're gonna watch. You're gonna go and watch my um, August this date night to Apolline restaurant in New Orleans. It was very good. It wasn't amazing. We didn't love it. I did have a clip of me and Randy talking about it, but it was long and drawn out and we talked about every single dish. And so I kind of cut that footage out to keep this video as short as possible. So I figured I would let you know that how we thought of it here, but the place was beautiful. You'll see footage, little bits of footage of that. The food was presented really, really well. The oysters were probably the best tasting thing that I got, but they were extremely disappointing in their size. Like I eat oysters all the time. I'm not even sure they were considered full oysters because there was one that was like literally so tiny. Anyway, we didn't love, love the place, but we didn't hate it. And it really was a great atmosphere and we had a really great time. The second thing that you'll see is September's date night. Randy probably wouldn't call it a September date night, but because we didn't get out to a restaurant that, that month, I consider it at our September date night. I cooked for him at home and it came out really good. We really, really enjoyed our night and he really liked everything I made. And so that was a plus. And it's just a little peek into that night. I show you all the food and how I did it and what I made. So that's interesting because it's kind of like a cook with me. And then it's a little small clip of something sweet that Randy did for me. And even though it wasn't a date night, I wanted to throw it in because it's a memory I want to keep. And it was like a, a dinner that y'all set up here. Music playing, you'll see that clip. Keep an eye out for it. And then we'll continue on into like birthday events that we did um, with friends and family. I put in just little clips of some of the things we did. We had a lighted bike ride in New Orleans where we rented bikes and they lit up and we had music and we drove around. And I'll be honest, I didn't think I was gonna like it and I really, really enjoyed it. So when you get to that clip of me saying like, oh, well, we're gonna go on a bike ride, blah, blah, blah. I actually did enjoy it and I would do it again. It was really fun. We stopped and got drinks. You'll see those clips. Then there are some other birthday parties, including a costume party, a pirate's costume party. So you'll see us in costume. I got some clips of that. Fun stuff like that. So keep on watching. That's what you're going to see. I hope that you enjoy it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And follow along with me and watch my journals. I always have something going on in my life. I'm trying to pick up the camera as much as possible. And I'll be honest, because I've been so full behind on filming, I didn't film my grandma's birthday party event, mostly because my camera was dead when I got there and I went to go turn it on in my car. I have a picture, um, so pictures, but I don't have video. That's a bummer. Um, and my niece's is in here because I wasn't feeling good and I kind of just kind of like sat and relaxed. We had a couple of drinks and food. And so that's not in here, but those are things that happened, you know? So I won't have video footage of everything we do that's great or sad or whatever, but that's okay. This is my video journal. So some things that I wanna post coming up. I wanna post some of the things we've been updating the house, obviously besides just the paint color. Kind of the process that I, I got a little couple of clips from it. I wanna look back on how we transform some of these areas into something different. And we have a whole lot of work ahead of me. I have to try to figure out how to decorate and I'm not the best at it this new color and this new room, along with other things. I wanna sit down and talk about all the bad, good, bad, and ugly of all the things going on in life, because a lot's been going on. Lots of great, some really crummy things, things like that. So I'll probably sit down and chit chat about that. And I want to do an October's vlog. 
and then a Thanksgiving vlog. So those are the kind of things that are gonna be coming up. So keep on watching, like and subscribe so you don't miss those, and I will see you in the next video. All right, so I picked up the camera because I just remembered, gotta make sure I capture date night. I am getting myself ready. I put the curling on through my hair. I haven't done makeup, I haven't done anything. It's been a really busy day. I've been getting ready for this weekend because we're going to Grand Isle for one of two nights and we're gonna be there with all of Randy's family. But anyway, it's date night. And we're going to a restaurant we've never been. I don't know how to say the name, so I'll put it on the screen. And the menu looks really yummy, so I'm really excited. I have no idea what I'm wearing. I have about 35 minutes to get ready, which, whatever. I'm gonna throw a little bit of makeup on my face, mostly eye makeup. I have some chap cap lips. <laughs> I have some really stylish clothes on. I have a wall that needs to be painted. And over here, I have all the stuff that I have. All the stuff that I packed for tomorrow and I still have a lot more to do but it's been a really busy day I'm gonna go get ready and welcome to date night please like and subscribe down below I'll get Randy on camera in a little while when we're driving and I'm gonna go enjoy some food and some cocktails it's not gonna be like some elaborate super fancy place I don't think but I do think it's supposed to be like a nice place We've never been we're gonna we're gonna find out and we're just gonna spend a little time together and do this because he likes doing this and we already missed july's date night so we're like literally at the end of august and we're doing it but that's okay trying to decide what i'm gonna wear it's either a little form fitting dress that has a zipper all the way down the back so i kind of like that detail it's a little bit more casual and this it's like more simple jewelry this bracelet with either a fit or like this dress kind of like flares out it's got like a little bustier and like a netted lacy top it also has a zipper that goes um down the back but not all the way down and then a more pretty type earring but those are my two options i'm gonna do my makeup and then i'll decide um ready so i'm ready Are you excited to be on a date for once in your life? Once in my life. <laughs> We're just having a conversation. You ain't the tip? The tip was amazing. <laughs> just the tip, baby. Hello and welcome to the video. It is either date night at home or September's date night. I'm looking at it as September's date night but Randy is probably gonna have a little bit of say in that. And so since I don't know what it is, I can't be like, welcome to date night at home or welcome to September's date night because he's the one who made it the monthly date night tradition. And I think it kind of views it a little differently than I do. Like to me, date night could be at home. Date night, it could be a brunch. Date night could be whatever. And to him, it's let me bring my wife out in wine and diner. I think that's how we use it anyway because when I thought brought up brunch he's like that's not a date night I want us to get dressed up I want you to get in a dress I want to take you out so he might say this isn't gonna be September's date night 
And we're halfway through September, and I know he was bummed about July state night that we didn't get it in. I mean, we had tons of dates. We were on beautiful vacations and had beautiful dinners and did amazing things, but it was never like a scheduled date night in his eyes. So we didn't do sep we didn't do July's. August was really late, and then we halfway through September, and we have a lot coming up. And we just did a lot of things. So I don't know when we're gonna get it in. And so I figured maybe this will be something that he would like and he'll be happy to know that we got in date night. So I'm just cooking a basic, not a basic dinner. I mean, it's gonna be a really nice dinner. It's gonna be plated really pretty and it's gonna taste delicious. I'm not getting dressed up. He's gonna come home, he's gonna change, and we're gonna hang out on the sofa. We're not doing anything special. I'm wearing yoga pants and a tank top. My hair's in a bun, and the only reason why I really have makeup on is because I was trying some that I recently bought and wanted to see if I liked it. And that's about it. I did more planning for an outfit for tomorrow than I did for my outfit for today. So, I did plan a lot with the food and you're going to see a lot all of that in a few minutes but I'll kind of tell you what I'm doing and then that way you can watch those clips because I didn't videotape myself earlier because I wasn't as put together as I am now and I was literally in a t-shirt and a pair of underwear so not showing that anyway um I did videotape the prep I'm just not in the video I have two hors d'oeuvres that I'm gonna be doing or appetizers or whatever you wanna call it. One's a little bread cup that I made out of like rolling a piece of bread, putting it into a cupcake pan. I cut the, the edges off. I brushed it with on both sides of the bread with garlic butter, with some Parmesan cheese in it and things like that. I talk a little bit about how I did that in that part of the video. So it's basically gonna be a bread crop with with this cheesy filling on the inside and some blackened shrimp on top with some top, some little garnishes. Then I also have a skewer with some olives and some blackened shrimp that I'm gonna um, cook up and put on a plate and drizzle with like this little bit of sauce and top it with little crumbles of bacon. And then for the entree, it's gonna be tuna steak and topped with some shrimp with a Caesar salad on the side with a little bit of bacon and shards of Parmesan cheese and dessert, like I mentioned, or at least I think I mentioned that I'm kind of making dessert. It's literally cinnamon rolls out of the can and I could have made crepes with some Nutella in it, but he's not really crazy about Nutella. So I can make that for me in the morning. And we really, really like these cinnamon rolls and put this, this is the only cinnamon rolls that I eat pretty much eat if I'm gonna eat them and there's five in a can and we always have five people in the house so we only get one so I was like you know what I have that in the house so let's make those for dessert and we can each have two and I can save one for breakfast in the morning if I want anyway I was kind of limited to what I could and couldn't cook I didn't have a ton of stuff in the house literally the only vegetables in my kitchen was lettuce cilantro green onions and parsley oh and a lemon and i used the lemon i used parsley i used the romaine and i used the green onions so i use almost all of it except for the cilantro in my dishes so keep on watching you'll get to see what my, my dinner looks like as i compose it and that's about it that'll be our date night for september i hope and if not and he wants to go out then we'll find a day i'll find a dress and we'll find a really good cool place to eat and I'll tell you about that place too, because there's always so many that I'm willing to try. I love food. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. All right, so in my pantry, I had a little bit of bread left from our groceries. And so I said, you know what? I know I need to get a whole new loaf. And as soon as you get a new loaf, nobody eats from the old loaf. So perfect for me to utilize this as part of one of my dishes tonight. And they're gonna be like these little rustic toast cups with something inside of them. This is gonna be the filling. I have some cream cheese in here. I have some shredded up, like just taco type cheese. And then I have some, actually this was a string cheese cause I eat string cheese as an adult and I cubed it up and I'm gonna mix that all together. There's some grated, I use this and I grate cloves of garlic. 
There's some grated up garlic in here and some lemon zest, just a little bit to brighten it up. I got some fresh um, parsley, salt, pepper, a tiny bit of sun-dried tomatoes, cut up as small as I could get it, some Greek seasoning over here, and I sprinkled some Tony's in there and some pepper. I'm gonna mix all that up and it's gonna be like this creamy, cheesy filling that's gonna go inside of the little cups. And then I'm gonna put some blackened shrimp on top of it. And I figured that that would be a nice little dish. Now, this is what I'm gonna put on the bread when I toast it. It's butter and garlic, pepper, and a little bit of salt. But what's also in here is a little bit of the sun-dried tomato olive oil. So it's gonna have that brushed all over the bread and toasted in the oven, filled with this and topped with blackened shrimp. And they're in there and I'm about to put them in the oven. All right, so they came out the oven, look like this. Obviously I'll put them back into the pan and bake them with the filling later, but I just wanted to see if they fit on here and they do. And then when they come out the oven, I'll place them back on here, put the shrimp on top and then some fresh parsley and a little bit of lemon juice right on top. So that's gonna be for this appetizer, two each. And I think I'm gonna put three shrimp on the top of each one. Second appetizer is still kind of in the works in my head, but it's some um, calamal olives that were in olive oil. And then there's some fresh lemon zest on here, blackened shrimp that I'm gonna put on the, um, I'm gonna warm it all up together. And this bacon is like that pre-cooked bacon you can get, I get this at Sam's. But I'm gonna pop that in a microwave and then crumble it up on my, this is, this is what it's gonna be displayed on when I serve it. So I'll probably put the bacon down, put these down, put a little bit more bacon, and um, crisscross the skewers on top of it. That's my tuna steaks for the main course. These are the blackened shrimp. These will go one on top of the appetizer and two, it's gonna go on top of the um, tuna steaks. Never mind, I am going to use these. Welcome to the video. It is a Tuesday night and we're going out. Yes, Valerie's going out on a Tuesday night. Not a weekend. No, I don't even go out on weekends. And now all of a sudden I'm going out on a Tuesday. But that's because we're celebrating five birthday parties, Randy's included. Another friend who's turning 40 and all the rest of them are turning 39. Me and Randy have semi-matching shirts. His says vintage 1979 with original parts, but mine says vintage 1979 with upgrades. He wanted to wear these. Our friends have like matching lunar type shirts. I think they all have like different styles, but like moon, stars, things like this. And we're running light up bicycles, we're riding around New Orleans, we're stopping for food and drinks, and that's that. I'm not excited about the bikes. I do not like exercise, and I do not love bikes. But I do love food, drinks, and friends, and all of those things together are better. Let's see. I don't know if I'm missing anything. I hope I'm not, but keep on watching. I don't know how much footage I'll get, being that I'm gonna be in motion most of the time on a bike, but uh, we do have another camera with us. So we're gonna get what we can and keep on watching. We'll see how this night rolls. So this is where we get the bikes. Hey, Randy.
gonna be videotaping this party. We're going to a friend's 40th. They live in Araby and it's called Pirates of the Arabian. That's what we're in. Well, he's not the pirate, he's the pirate map and X marks the spot. And so he's my map and his X is on his heart. Just so you know. My costume is thrown together because my husband told me at like, I don't know, five o'clock tonight that we were going to a party. No, it wasn't three. Because I actually left my house and had to go pick up supplies, make two costumes, take a shower, get myself ready, and leave 45 minutes after the party started. But that doesn't matter. We're going. Who's there? We have no clue. We're going. And uh, it's a costume party, so hence the costumes. But I just figured I'd make this clip because I know I'm going to be putting together a little video of the friends' birthdays that we did the other day with the bike ride. And so I'm going to throw this, this clip in. And I'm gonna make my husband, my husband who loves me so much, videotape me with my costume on at some point at this party because guess what? It's gonna fall apart real quick because there's a lot of safety pins in it. And guess how many times I got stuck and I haven't made it to the party? Three. Three.